Oh my gosh. Good morning, Jamly. I look like a wreck. Holy cow, look at this mess. Yeah, it's definitely time to pick a haircut. Um, and I think you guys, oh, as much as I hate to do this, I think I'm really going to take it pretty short. Um, there is a lot of damaged hair on my head right now. So I think it's gonna end up being a really short haircut and then I'm not gonna color it any further from there. I think I'm just gonna let my natural hair grow out and no more of this. Um, so no more of the bleaching or any of that because it just keeps damaging my hair and my hair is really, like I have a lot of hair but very thin hair and it's just messing my hair up. Hey guys, <laughs> hi. Okay, so just wanted to clear something up. Um, down in the comments from yesterday's video, is it yesterday's or today's video? The day you got your haircut. Okay, so the day I got the haircut, that video, um, somebody down in the comment section had said I inspired them for their sexuality so and that I was. proud of you for being comfortable. Yeah, I was pr like, they were proud of me for being comfortable about my sexuality. And then somebody else has come by and, um, and I ha had asked them about, are you talking about her hair? Um, my hair has nothing to do with my sexuality. Um, I like boys, strictly just liking males. I mean, there's nothing wrong with liking girls. I mean, if you're gay, you're gay. If you're lesbian, you're lesbian. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I do support it myself. My family does, of course. But my hair has nothing to do with my sexuality. Uh, I got my hair cut for two reasons. One, it was so tangly when I like when I had it long. It was hard to brush through. It was hard to wash because I always had to like go through it, always curled, and it was like oh, it was always tangled. And I was just like, oh my god, I'm done with this. And two, I'm a tomboy. I like having my hair short. It looks nice. So. Yay! So I just wanted to clear that up. My hair has nothing to do with my sexuality. Seriously. Tonight's dinner, mm. pork steaks, carrots, and rice. You like those, Taylor? Aw. Yeah? What's the matter, Sarah? I dropped my carrot. <laughs> you dropped your carrot. Carrot dropping? Is it really good? Mm. Yeah? I think the rice came out really good. Yeah, I like it. Yummy. Mm. Hey, Jamly. So I just finished a shower and my hair, I have even tried doing like a hot oil treatment, trying to save some of the length on my hair, but I think I've come to like a really hard decision. Ugh. This is such a hard decision because this has taken me so long to grow it to this length. Like, if you guys look back at, like, our first set of vlogs, my hair was, like, oh, I don't know, to about my chin. Um, and in that time, I've grown maybe five inches of hair. And that's been in two years' time. So less than six inches of hair has grown in two years. It's a really long time to to try to grow your hair out and it just not go any, like it's just not getting anywhere. Like if you look at it from my chin to here, that's just not a lot of hair growth. And I know it's because I fried my hair repeatedly. I know that, like that's not news to myself. And I would like to just no longer do any coloring with it. Just kind of go with what my root color is, which I am a blonde by the way, you guys, as you can see, I do have naturally like darker blonde hair. So I think I'm gonna leave it alone and let it grow, but what I'm gonna do is cut this um, and no longer do any color. So I think we're gonna go very, very short. Like, I'm talking, like, literally taking everything down to just before the root. Um, maybe having my hair about that long. Um, and styling it or whatnot for now until it grows back in a bit healthier because right now it is just not healthy. But you guys, I did start doing the cleanup in here. I don't really wanna show you too much 
of what we've done because I am going to be filming the house tour. So the kids are actually in the process of getting a lot of their rooms done right now. Um, and then we're going to get like their sheets and everything put on and their stuff on their walls. And once that part is done, we'll be able to get that part of the tour done. I did clean my desk up today though. And I'm loving this haircut on you. What are you gonna think though when I go like super short with mine for a little bit? Mine, of course, isn't gonna stay short. I'm gonna. It's gonna look fine. I'm totally terrified. Mine's staying short. I'm sorry. I just cannot. Yeah, I think that looks good on I you. I just cannot deal with long hair. Yeah. If my hair ever goes back, I'm going and getting it cut again. <laughs> I don't like long. I think having a little bit more length on it'll be good, but that'd be about it. I, not like the back is fine. Like you can keep that part short. I want. I would say and get a little bit more length on the front so that you can actually do the curls that you like doing on the front. Okay, but the back needs to be... Yeah, the back we more. can keep short. I know, when, when I get paid again, we'll take it and get a little bit more off. Yeah, she definitely did not get as much off as we were hoping. So, Sarah's got curls that keep still churning outward that she's... It's supposed to be like almost like brother's hates. shaved in the back, but yeah. not that... Yeah, not we don't that want it that shaved, short. But it's supposed to be close to that. Yeah, you wanted it no more than like a quarter of an inch long back there, and... She left like that whole top part. Sarah wanted all that to be very short and it's not. It's almost ponytailish. Like you can almost put that in a ponytail. And that's not what Sarah wanted. Because now her curls, her curls keep happening. And that was the reason, the biggest reason Sarah wanted her hair cut. One, because her hair is heavy and it's long um, when it's long. So that was one reason. But the biggest reason was those dang curls in the back of her head. Her hair at the base of her head right here, like all right here does like these weird like some of them turn upward some of them turn downward some of them turn sideways one of them isn't even really a curl it's like this big funky wave that <laughs> happens in just that one spot and so because she's got all this weirdness happening in the very back of her head it all mats up really bad so she would wake up every single morning like mom i can't get it mom and she'd have come in and she'd be in tears having me brush through that really matted spot in her like, hair like most of the time it would be like in the back of here i remember the one time i was like seven or something we actually like had to ha finally cut the old, one mat out of it whatever and um all my hair had gotten tangled because i forgot to brush it before i went to bed because i took a shower yeah and then at night i went to bed without brushing it and so i was like oh it'll be fine because it was still drying and so i was like oh whatever and she never let me braid her hair before bed which probably would have saved her all that headache and so i was laying there and then i woke up in the morning and i was like i went in there and i went like this and i touched and it was, my hair uh, and it was like it was this, like a tangled and was like yeah a big huge mat and i was like Oh God! And I went rushing him on because I was crying because I couldn't. We got most of it out, but like, then had to cut the rest like, that ow, last little bit. Oh, oh! And she's brushing. I'm like, no! I'm yeah, it was horrible. Head. And we had to spray like a whole bunch of like conditioner in it, just trying to loosen the hair out. So yeah, guys, her haircut was especially because of the curls. And I'm glad. And plus, Sarah really can rock a short haircut. Like it always looks so cute on her. Well, when she actually does something with it. Today she just washed it and then blow dried it straight forward so she can just throw it over her head. <laughs> She's been doing that all day. She was spiked it earlier so that it was like almost a mohawk. And then she... Because <laughs> she did her... The haircut she got, well, what she was supposed to get anyway, was supposed to be like the Jennifer Lawrence haircut. And yeah. Well, if Sarah actually styled it like Jennifer Lawrence does, it would actually be that same style. But for now, she's just enjoying having it short. <laughs> so, and her little round cheeky cheekies. I love those cheeky cheekies. Those cheekies are the best. Oh, <laughs> the best. Don't get upset at my triangle smile. <laughs> Aww. My baby right there. Don't make fun of my triangle smile, though. <laughs> Whoa. Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness, that nose. You went cross-eyed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, you want to say goodbye to everybody? Say bye. Bye. Peace out. We'll see you later, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, anyway, we'll see you all later. Come back, see you again tomorrow. We vlog it every day, guys, whether things are good, bad, or sometimes even boring. And, yeah. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Bye.